Hey toy fans, it's Roberto here doing another unboxing. And this time it is of Joy Toys Warhammer 40Ks, 40,000s, Space Wolves Battle Pack. And this is a hunter pack. Um, Space Wolves is one of my favorite factions from Warhammer. So uh, it was very, this was a very nice gift from one of my buddies uh, for Christmas last year. I'm finally getting around to opening a, a, a solid uh, 10 months later. <laughs> um, very uh very cool i love the joy toy line um been really uh, getting into my warhammer lately so uh figured i'd uh revisit some stuff i hadn't looked at in a while so looks like you get uh four members of uh this, uh the hunters pack looks like uh you get it's uh four different portraits on the side which is cool and then characters doing some action poses and the space wolves logo so then, let's just see what is in this box without actually ripping anything, hopefully. Hmm. That's the, that's the trick, right? Just get it open without... Alright. So, looks like uh, we got four boxes. And that's pretty cool. They're individually packed. Wasn't sure how... How they are coming, but we got Hunter's Pack. Pretty sure they probably all say Hunter's Pack on them. It's just a different portrait on the front. And then another Hunter's Pack there. Let's see. We got another dude here. I want to say um, this was a unit that came in the Space Wolves versus Tyranid uh, to uh, to army pack, but um, it looks like it anyway. Primaris. So you can see on on the front, it's got the Marine, and then on the back, it looks like it's the same four picks that were on the back of the main box. So, nothing too too exciting. Doesn't look like there's any names or anything like that. Just says what it contains in 118 scale. So, I don't know. Um, let's just get into it. Um, I really have enjoyed pretty much every Joy Toy figure I've opened outside of. There might be, sometimes there can be some breakage. So, gotta watch out. But, let's take a look. Pop this guy open. And see what's in here. Mm -mm. Oh, that's a treat. Comes with comes with a trading card. It looks like it's in Chinese, so I won't be able to know what it is. But it just has him, this the guy walking and screaming. So that's pretty cool. Uh oh, looks like it, the head came off in uh, <laughs> in transit here. So let's see. Um, see what he looks like. Oh, wow. I'm really liking the, uh, the Space Wolf's blue. That's pretty cool. So, this guy is, uh, just screaming. I do like that. You can tell he's, uh, this is Space Wolf because he's because he's happy about stuff. You can see he's got some knobs on his head, so that's pretty cool. I'm really liking the uh, the yellow they used on his uh, shoulder pauldron there. It's got uh, it's got the red and black on the other. It's got some got some Space Wolf flare on his uh, on his belt there. Um, yeah, these figures are just great. It's the 118 scale, but they are uh, in scale for the primary Space Marines, so they would be bigger than like uh, your normal G.I. Joe, which would be the scale, but that's pretty cool. Uh, he's got a hoster, looks like a grenade. I don't know, I don't think, I don't think any of that comes off really, but some, some packs, so some plugs on the back. For his 
it's for his backpack i like they they picked out the uh the silver at the bottom for the exhaust that's pretty cool pop this on the back fit in fairly nice and looks like we got a couple of hand options and a couple of weapon options so it's nice he's got a, your uh, two classic weapons for the uh, Space Marines, you got your your bolt rifle, and it's got a scope on it, so that's that's awesome. Let's see if we can just pop this in the hand real quick, and other hand is wide enough to. Well, first first things first. Let's just show you. That he holds it fairly well, but if you want to get tricksy, um, he's got like an open hand there that looks like you should be able to finagle it to. Oh, head just popped right back out, so must not have popped it in as snug as I could. But regardless, um, well, looks could look better, could look better. Definitely can work it so well, it just keeps on sliding out. But anyways, you definitely can work it so it's got it held with uh, in a way that looks um, more functional. Let's see. Eh. And what else does he got? Looks like he has. Uh, bolt pistol not too bad and this probably can be holstered uh, maybe not just looks like he has a holster but it doesn't necessarily go in it that's kind of weird but um, I can let's see oh that hand is completely shut so Oh, here we go. If I want to get that big, big gun, little gun action, I can pop in. Oh, maybe. Let's see what's going on here. Yep. So, really good really fun this guy uh this guy looks awesome so let's go ahead and and he's got a the space wolves helmet as well pop the next one open yeah i'm pretty sure i didn't look at all of these guys i might have opened one but it's been so long i don't remember Oh man, he's got his trading card as well. I wish they gave these guys some names. That would have been kind of fun. But, oh, they did. Uh, he's Brother Jarl. The first one was Brother Wolfgar. Okay. So we got Brother Jarl. And... His face is not as cool as the first guy with the... Uh, the red mohawk, so we might swap out his his helmet or his head just to see what it looks like. Now let's also see if they're pretty much the same figure. Looks looks so. Um, yep, everything except for his flare is a little bit different. He's got he's got what looks like a red stone in his gold, and he's got. Like a rabbit's tail or a wolf's tail, one or the other, um, around his waist. Really disappointed with the with the uh, holster. It doesn't looks like it actually holsters. That's that's kind of weird. Um, I want to say the yeah the so I got the um, uh, what do you call it? the Imperial Fist and their holster is actually holster. So or no, not this one. Excuse me. I'm uh, I'm guessing guessing wrong. I thought one of them actually did, but 
I don't know. I got a couple more of these figures somewhere, but have to dig them out and take a look. Um, but anyways, it's just this exact same face. Um, he's got a screaming, screaming face. Looks like he's got a mustache, and uh, no. He's got different different scars on his face. I was like, did they just give me a bald version of the same guy? <laughs> you know, uh, this, uh, what do you call it? The Space Marines, the Astartes, uh, do sometimes look the same. So, the Gene Seed, you know. Let's see if I can get this guy's head up. Now this one's not going to come out at all. Well... Whatever. Don't want to break it. He's, re he's really in there. Let's pop the pack on. There it goes. Swap it out with the actual space marine head and the space marine helmet hmm. this is quite snug Okay. Oh, let's move the hand out of the way. Looks pretty good. And gotta go with gotta go with the uh, with the bolters. I feel like the bolt rifles, just because these dudes are. Uh, just some heavy duty uh, <laughs> wrecking wrecking balls, so it's not bad. Um, a couple hand, same hand options, just a different head, um, and the different uh, different card. So let's go ahead and see the next one. What do we got here? Okay. Oh, yeah. I did open one, so it's had a minute. This guy's got the full the full mane of hair, and he is. Who are you, Brother Barrick? He's got Brother Barrick here, and. Because all these guys, man. Yeah, I got the red hair. It's kind of cool. And this dude's got the, uh, the classic flat top. I'm guessing uh, he's got a bit more hair than just a flat top. So he's got a big old piece of metal sticking out of his head. So it's not too bad. Uh, no mustache. Uh, same. Pretty much same uh, everything as the last guy I opened. He's got the the wolf tail and the same medallion. I'm leaving this head on. That last head was a bit of a fight, and I, I actually like this one. So let's see. pop on uh, the backpack, and looks like he's got two sets of hands, and maybe we go with. Pistol and he got a fist. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Not a straight fist anyway. But we got a closed hand. So maybe we just go with this closed hand. It's like if I can just get a good grip on him, man. It's like they got some really big 
ball sockets. Kind of awkward. But, yeah. Yeah, this guy looks awesome. All, all of them look awesome. Um, but I feel like this was some of the earlier runs. I want to say they did the Ultramarines and then they uh, did um, this. We're the first Space Wolves. So, no no frills. Just, uh, just some cool looking wolves. And, but yeah, if uh, if you haven't played with one of them, they got pretty, pretty good articulation, to be honest. Um, double jointed elbows. Uh, knees. Let's see. This I say that as this one just does not move at all. Just just locked in place. It should. Let me make sure. It's just that guy. Yeah, it's just that one. Um. So might have to heat up this arm because it's not giving me any play. But I don't know if it's where it's locked up at. Don't want to just twist it off in the wrong direction. But anyways, double knees. They uh they're kind of bulky with their with their shoulder pads, but um but they but they do the job. Doesn't look like they got butterflies, but they uh definitely have uh a decent range. A, but he definitely has a like a locked, like probably heavily painted a joint that's a cut at um, the the upper part of his arm that I'm probably just gonna have to uh, heat up to actually get it to move to so it can turn because the other arm turns. This is what it's supposed to be doing, but this this one not so much. So I just stick him in some hot water or or a hair dryer, one or the other. Until then, he's just shooting with the one hand, not both pretty good and oh all right this this dude looks like he comes with uh with a chain sword so that's uh that'll be good let's pop this one open this one was not opened either so is that brother Beric? and now we have air what is it Eric Ice Fang. Man. Eric Ice Fang. Eric Ice Fang must be uh the captain because he he's got he's got a sword and he's got some extra necklace uh going on here. Let's go ahead and get this guy out without everything popping out all crazy. But, uh, I'm going to have to use uh, these in my Warhammer novels to, as bookmarks because they're pretty good, pretty long card, not your standard card size. So, pretty neat. Alright, so now we've got, and yeah, they really uh, they really went on on his face. He's uh, He's got more of the same it's the first guy's mohawk, but with spiky hair, and he's got some some facial hair as well. He's got got some bone and and rock uh, necklace. Looks like he's got a he's got a, a knife. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, it comes out too. And it's got a nice little paint job on it, so that's not bad. Um. Holds it fairly well. I feel like uh, his knife, since he has a knife, I might have to give that uh, the chainsaw to somebody else. But anything else? His accessories on his back look the same. Let's go ahead and pop this on. And yeah, I like his head too. Not too bad. Um, but he's got he's got a chain sword, which is awesome. Always gotta like the chain swords. Uh, 
little yuck around here. Kind of got a gummy finger. Okay. And you can vroom, vroom, vroom all you want. It's not too bad. And possibly, I wonder if you can hold the chainsword in the open hand. Not that well. This open hand is just for holding, uh, is just for holding your um, bolt rifle with the, uh, like the barrel. So, let's see. Got to get the, the classic. Oh, uh, let's see. Is this a, is a trigger finger over here? So, let's go ahead and swap that up. It's trigger finger. It's in here. Another open hand, and then we'll put the sword in the off hand. You can just get some of these to cooperate with me. These joints are kind of funny, and I don't, don't, they're kind of rubbery. I got this big, solid ball socket that I don't want to break, um, messed around with. But none of them have felt too, too suspect. I do like the hands, uh, were giving me all kinds of play there, so that's pretty good. And... Let's see these uh yeah these guys are awesome um i liked it's like i really liked the imperial fist um and it's a sh <laughs> kind of like the imperial fist more it's a shame because i actually uh, have a space wolves army don't have an imperial fist army um and we gotta hunt some xenos since i don't have anything else i got i got some uh some Walmart uh, brand aliens and if you got to kill some other Xenos you can get some Transformers you know just whatever whatever uh, whatever heretic alien is is out there you got to purge them so I dig it man these guys are these guys are awesome this four pack was really good I want to thank my uh, my friend Joe again for getting this to me for for Christmas last year this was an awesome gift um, I just need more shelves so I can fit everything on it. That's one of the reasons I don't open some stuff. It's just because I don't know where I'm going to put it. But um, this guy, I got to free up that arm. He's uh, definitely giving me some trouble. But anyways, these um, Space Wolves, the uh, what was it? The Hunter's Pack was uh, is pretty fun. So if you're a fan of Space Wolves, Joy Toy, Warhammer, all the above, um, I recommend. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.